What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and I've got a project here that I'm dealing with and I wanna show you what I'm dealing with. Basically, I got a 20 foot sailboat here that has sunk. Now, there's a couple issues here. First of all, this is our marina. This is our dive shop. You've seen it in plenty of videos. These are our docks here. We've got 131 boat slips that people can dock up to. So it's a pretty big operation that we got going on. But occasionally we deal with something like this and you guys have seen plenty of salvage videos where we go out and we help people whose boats sunk and things like that. But this is one of our slip customers. So this is something that we tend to jump on right away. But I wanna talk a little bit about this because this boat's actually been here for about three days now. We actually saw it go down on camera. We ran out here, we tried to secure it the best we could and it still went down unfortunately. Um, and we couldn't necessarily save it for the customer. We do have it tied off to where it's not going to go down any further, um, but it's something that we're going to have to deal with. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, why did you leave it for three days? Why didn't you immediately pick it up? And there's a reason there. First of all, we do not own this vessel. This vessel is not ours. Yes, we own the docks, but when we rent them out, they technically belong to the customer as well. So before I put my hands on it and risk any type of liability, either on myself or my company, I have to have permission from that owner as well. So we contacted the owner, found out what they wanted to do with it and we're kind of in limbo until that occurs now once we do kind of take possession of it by putting our hands on it then we're responsible for anything that happens duke pyre which is the pyre company that runs our lake and i'm not sure if you can see them but back here in the fog is the main oxford dam that is what creates our lake in general duke pyre that owns that they control everything in the lake so anytime there's a hazmatic um something or the you know a hazmat situation where something is sunk there's gas and all it's an immediate thing we usually don't hesitate we go ahead we jump in but there's nothing on this boat guys it, it's powered by the wind there's no motor or anything that we really have to concern ourselves with so this boat's perfectly fine sitting here for a few days until we can get our ducks in a row we can get up with the owner we can find out exactly what he wants to do with it one of the worst things that we could do is actually lift this boat up charge the customer take our bags off and then the boat sink again so when we do jobs like this understand we do a thorough investigation to find out what made it sink before I even attempt to lift this boat I'm gonna jump in I'm gonna go up underneath it and I'm gonna check the hole to see if there's any holes because if I lift it up and there's a hole in a the hole then I'm gonna obviously have to leave the bags under it full time I'm never gonna be able to remove the bags so I got to make sure we've got a trailer to get the boat out and all this so we thoroughly investigate every salvage job before we ever even get wet so that's another reason we left this boat here um, and I will be making a separate video on the salvages of this boat. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it uh, and kind of explain the process. I'll actually commentate through it as well. But I just wanted to show you, you know, this is something we deal with all the time. You guys have seen plenty of salvage videos. We do so many that you guys don't get to see just because either one, we don't have time to film it, or two, it actually interferes with the operation itself. But I will be filming this one for you and showing you how we're going to set it up. And I'll explain why we do certain things. And each salvage job is a little bit different. Sometimes we cradle boats. Sometimes we clip off to cleats. Sometimes we clip off to bow eyes and stern eyes and things like that. And this particular one, it'll just depend on what we're working with. I first got to investigate, try to find out what made it sink. And then, of course, I can lift it up and pump it out. But guys, I want to give a huge shout out real quick to Lake near recovery divers i'll put all their information down in the uh description below go check them out if you're down in the georgia area they do a lot of the same stuff that we do as far as salvage work and search and recovery work go check those guys out if you're in that area and they will definitely help you help you out ask for brian specifically uh it's kind of funny we both have the same name brian i spell mine with a y he's of course with an i but ask for brian specifically i'll put his information down there as well and tell him i sent you and of course he'll do a good job for you as well but uh, guys, if you got any questions, you want to see more salvage work like this, either wintertime or summertime diving, we will try to produce more videos for you. Just let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see, and that's what we will produce for you as well. Guys, we thoroughly appreciate all your support by you watching our channel, liking these videos, even the dislikes, that's fine too, but liking these videos and sharing these videos help support us produce more content for you. So guys, as always, definitely like this video and share it for me. It means so much to us. Uh, guys, as always, we we want to grow our channel and the way that we do that is by you. So liking, sharing, 
and watching these videos over and over that's what helps support us as well but guys as always we appreciate everything you do for us and we want to see you in a future video so please say subscribed if you're not subscribed smash that subscriber button for us it means so much as always guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pincer subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.